Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Open HRMS Service Request Module. Open HRMS is an open source HR management software that envisions in building up a happier workspace. And it obviously works well with the small as well as the large enterprises. And these Open HRMS modules are self-sufficient in managing and solving the every major hurdles that you may face in your HR management path. So in this video, we will be discussing about the Open HR MERS service request module. So basically we can say that by default ODO or with ODO, we lack like this provision of this particular functionality called as service request. So let's have a look over the functionality. So once you install this module from the ODO app store, you would be able to access this functionality within the employee module. So right now I have logged in as one of my employee as Mark Demo. So when you go to the employee form, here you will able to see uh, separate options called service where under service you will have the option to request the service as well as you would be able to see the service request. So basically we can say that this module is an application for handling the service request from employees. So basically you can create the request from here so an employee can create the request from here and service his and can submit his service request to the administrator and he will assign to an employee to perform this particular service we can say that to a service executor so after the service executor finishes his service he can then randomly change the state to the corresponding done state so from here you can create the request so here you will have the option to mention the reason for your service so suppose if I mention the reason as repair for the item and here you have the option to mention the type of services where you have the options like repair, re replace, updation, checking, adjustment and others. So let's click on this repair option and here you can mention the date. And here by default, the employee name would be coming because you have logged in as the corresponding employee. And here you will have the option to mention the item for which you want to create the service request. So suppose if I mention this product as large cabinet and here I'm mentioning my service executor also, that is the mission admin. And here also I can provide uh, any kind of internal note also. And then you have the option to submit this. So where you have the different stages like the draft, request and approve. And let's click on the submit option. So when you click on the submit option, you can see it would be changing its state to the requested state. Now let's move back to our administrator. That is the Michelle admin. So with Michelle admin, we can see we will get this request within the employee and here you will have the option for seeing this that is here you can see the option called as service and under service we have this request service service approval service execution and all for request service from here you can simply request also so here the michelle admin would be able to create a request service and otherwise also he would be able to see the request that is coming under him so from here you can see we can see that request that is generated by the mark remo here you can see it would be showing that it is in the requested state and from here he would be able to see all other details that about the service request that is created by the mark demo and then here the michelle admin has the option to assign it so he can assign it and from here you can see we also have the option for service approval so under service approval, you can see, uh, you will always see those requests which is still in the requested state. And from here also, you can assign to that particular person or corresponding person, you can assign from here also. So basically this request service or request approval from these both two, you can assign. And then under this execution or the service check that here under this option called as service execution, here you will be able to see this. 
and here you can see that you will be getting the stage into a signed state and here you will have a button called as checked button. So once it is checked by the executor, that is the service executor. So currently for Michelle admin, I have assigned him as a service request in the settings of Michelle admin. So I can show you that that is in the settings. Also, we would be having the option where you will able to provide the corresponding user their role. Like when you install the service module, you can see that you will get an extra info or an field where you can mention the service. So here you can see that yeah, here with the service for this particular person that is the Michelle admin, we have mentioned the role as a service executor. So that's why for that particular person, it is assigned as well as we are getting the options like or the button called as the check option. So here, let's go back to that and let's have a look on that. So in service execution, you will able to see this option called as check sync because this particular person or the Michelle admin is having the role of the service executor. So once the service executor finishes the service, he can correspondingly change the state. So he can click on this checked option and he can change the state into corresponding check. And then here you can see it is getting into the checked state. And here you will have the option called as service reporting where you can see those reporting sections and all. And in the service reporting itself here you will see those reports and you will see the corresponding status change and for this Michelle admin once it is checked by the service executor the other thing would be coming as the approver or to approve or reject it so basically for right now for Michelle admin itself I have provided the service uh, type as or the we have I have provided the service role as the service executor that's why it is coming both for michelle admin since it is the administrator also you are getting the options to approve from here also so you can simply approve that and it would be moving into the state called as approve so this is how the service request module works of open hrms so basically with this module it will allow the employee to raise their request and view its state also, we have the options like service type and item for service can also be defined through this particular uh, module and we can also help to provide or assign executors and then approve at multiple level. So these options we are having with this open HRMS service request module. So this is all about open HRMS service request module. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoo.cybruises.com.